and welcome to a new tutorial. Oh dear. Um, this tutorial will be on how to make vampire teeth and vampire transformation and look in After Effects. I've been looking for hours yesterday doing this. I didn't get the time yesterday to do a tutorial, so I'm doing it today. I looked at this yesterday. I just looked over it now to see what effects were in each of these. Um, but it's easy. As you will see, if we just make this frame go to 20, uh, can we make that go there? Because it will, yes. There we are, that's the transformation. You can see the eyes go red and the teeth go, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the cool effect you get. You can change the color of the uh, red, but I thought the red looked coolest. I checked out yellow and stuff. This is not motion tracking. Sadly, I don't have any video clips to use on uh, for motion tracking, but this is what I have, and we will deal with what I have. So this is the picture, just a picture I found. Uh, I will make a new comp, whatever size you want and everything. Uh, here, and then you will drag the image or video clip. Uh, sorry, that I can't do the video clip, but you will have to motion track uh, to do the video clip. Now, this image is way bigger than it should be, so I have to, like, edit it a little bit. Like that, it's more like a square picture, so that's fine enough. Now, you have to zoom in, so make sure the video you have is very high res. As you can see, this isn't fully high res, as I just made the image smaller. It was originally like this, so you will see the detail comes back when you make it bigger. But, we need to make it smaller. They are looking normal. So, but this is fine. This is fine. Now, this is the picture. Uh, for motion tracking, you will need to change some keyframes around. But let's just start off. Uh, just make a copy by hitting Control D or Command D on Mac, uh, and add the lick, liquify, on it. It sounds like a Harry Potter spell, liquify. And then you duplicate that again because you want one for both of the teeth. Uh, you might want just one, you can use only one, but I'm going to use two for this example. And go to one of them, I do recommend calling it like teeth, te um, tooth maybe, tooth one, or uh, maybe rename it tooth L, and tooth R for right. So left and right, this, we'll call this or a G, no. We need the original because we're going to be masking these. So let's start with tooth L. And let's not do that. Tooth L. Hit the H. And you can move around. In case you didn't know that. V and H you can actually hover over. Just for like a beginner's tutorial for After Effects. If you're new to it. Because this will be available for anyone to do. Now here you want to click tooth L. And click this tool which is G. So press that. Make sure it's on pen tool just have to get out so this is the left tooth so this will be it vampire teeth uh, you could think this is the vampire te tooth but this is right make sure it's not uh, it's not like let me just uh, yeah anyways just make sure it's like not these teeth right here Make sure it's not those. Now if I just undo totally that. So tooth L. Go to that tooth and all you need to do is making a rough mask. Now remember, rough mask around the tooth. So this is not really important on being like feathered and stuff. Not even for production. Now hiding the two other ones, you can see you have a tooth. Right there. Do the same thing on the right. Make a mask around it. This is important for making the real vampire look. Or again, not too harsh. Make sure you don't take anything under it though. That's very important. Let me just uh, show both of the masks under here. Because that will drag that as well with the liquify tool. So remember that. Let's start with the left tooth. And... We want to click this tool right here, the first tool with the hand pointing into it. Just click that, 
Uh, you might want to make the tool a tiny bit smaller. How do I do that again? I think it's warp to options, brush size. Yes, you might want that to just make it smaller. Now, you just drag the tooth like this. Just drag. You will see it automatically makes it a vampire. Oh. Oh, now again, there we are. A vampire tooth. Really easy, isn't it? Yes. Make this as long as you want, but this is probably to the lips on this picture right here. To the lips. Now, do the same thing for the to R, make sh I'm just gonna do the say exactly the same. So 28. Can I duplicate this? That didn't work, did it? No. Right, okay, fine. We'll do it manually. So now you just drag. Just keep dragging until you. Now this is very important. If you did not, let's just hide this quickly. If he. If you did not, if you selected something under here, it would started start to drag. If I just choose the original and drag the liquify tool in, just to show you what liquify does. And I drag, for example, this tooth. We'll drag everything, we'll, like modify the whole picture. You can make his uh, lip. You can make his lip like go down. You could make everything. You can drag everything here, as you can see, it doesn't look really good. So that's why you want to mark and make a selection and like uh, pen. What's this again? I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's a pen tool, but oh. so you can see before and after on these two teeth. You see, they sharpen themselves for some reason. But that's because I teeth. That's like how it's made. My teeth, for example, are naturally a little sharp and a little longer than the other teeth, uh, upper teeth. So I probably don't need too much changing, but this lady has always her teeth the same uh, size and length you see there. So it's very important masking around them, and they will automatically make them like sharp and razor. So that's the teeth done. There we are, you can see the teeth right there. Beautiful picture. We just want to save quickly so we don't lose our changes. You want to duplicate the original by Control D again and call this eyes. That one for the eyes because now you can see you can do this for the teeth as well. But I chose. Hold on. All right, because we need to mask it. If I hide that, that'll be after. And yeah, okay. Now to mask the eyes, you just make a round one. This is pretty important on this one actually. To make this smooth and rigid. That doesn't make any sense, but. Oh. Yeah. For both of the eyes. Both of them. This eye is a tiny bit easier. Uh, there we are. So now we've got the eyes selected, you will add the hue and saturation color correction on them. There we are. Now you want to turn this wheel until their eyes go completely red. Like that. Now you change the master saturation up a good amount. You can change the color again. You can make them purple eyes. Looks really amazing and witchy, uh, but I recommend having them red. This powerful red, as you can see. If you wanted to make them like my babysitter's a vampire, you wanted them more, like more like, like a cat. Um, but you will need to do some more stuff for the cat to appear here. So I recommend using. See, you can change to all the colors in the world. But I like the red color. It's, it's kind of intense. So you can also change how much red you want. But it will start to affect the. Uh, you should really not have a lot of reflections in this. So, but you don't need to have the it so uh, powerful. You can turn it down. But I recommend having it really good and bright. Like that looks pretty. I, I can't really recommend enough because you just need to mess around with this. 
Now, for both of your masks, change the uh, feather to 5. That will make the They make like the mask, probably do 10 as well. 10 on both, yeah. Actually, 10 is a better idea because then you can see the mask around them aren't, isn't too sharp, so it actually blends a little bit with the uh, around. You can see how amazing you can make things look by just doing something. This is way easier in Photoshop, don't worry, people, but in After Effects, it's very important to get these details correct because you're probably making a movie. Now, I'm using a picture just because I have not captured a movie or found a movie on the YouTube or anything doing this without the effects on. So I will have to use a picture. Sorry for that, but that's how it is. So that's basically how to do it. Now, to make the transformation, as I showed here, as they actually start without anything and it goes to BAM, you will have to... Um... Actually, the teeth are sharper in this comp than on this comp. Probably because I changed the... The brush size. Okay, so the brush size, uh, you can mess. You need to mess around. Not you cannot, but you need to mess around with the settings. If you make it uh, look weird, just delete the effect, not the whole uh, layer. The effect only, because you don't need to delete the layer. See, effects are here to be added. <laughs> now, to make it work, you can actually. Uh... Hmm. You want to use both of them, sorry. Um, what you want to do in the liquify tool, you can see on the uh, distortion percentage, if I change that to zero, her vampire teeth will be gone. So it will start at zero, so we start that, then same with that, zero. Then about there, not really, then we'll go to 100. Yeah, now in a short amount of time, this will animate. I hope you're familiar with keyframes because they're very important. It's taking ages for this to render. I don't find this fun at all. 900 frames. We didn't see it now, so let's change this to about six seconds as the transformation is done, like here. Change the view as well, actually, down low. Now, let's for, make this work. Now, let's see. Let's just wait for it. I'll do the eyes, of course. There we are. You can make it way faster by just editing, going down to Tooth, Effects, Liquify, and then you can change it here. Which is to, like, 10 frames. Oh, it's already... Oh, it's less than 10 frames. It looked like it was... Uh, oh, well. Now, to the eyes. Go to the eye. Then you just simply go down, go away from mask, and go to transform. Add. The last frame. Put an opacity. Go down to zero and put opacity to zero. Now, what will happen? The teeth will start immediately, of course. Now, as you can see, if we start rendering this. There we are. You will see that the eyes are... Yeah. She's a vampire. Pretty clear. So that's actually a better comp than the tutorial example. Which I don't find weird because I just did it again. And this time I messed them more around with it. Which is why this tutorial is already 15 minutes. Yes. And soon anyways. It's 14. But... So that's the tutorial on vampire teeth and vampire transformations. There will be more tutorials in the future on color correction and Harry Potter and all that. Which is lighting and lightning and Lumos and stuff. Which you need to do some physical stuff to make sure works most uh, clearly. Harry Potter crew used real lightning and real lightning even. Lighting to make the Lumos spell work with battery operated. No, no, sorry. Uh, with with like wands with um, cords running out of them, 
to stay masked out, of course. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial or gameplay. But this is tutorial, so next tutorial. Bye. From me.